Hello, hello. How embarrassing would that have been? Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. How you doing? I've been bloody talking to myself for the past very couple of minutes. So, uh, yeah, the plan for today. <coughs> Sick of looking at my face. So I want to finish this off uh, pretty quickly. Can you can you hear me now? Testing, testing, one, two, three. It's got a little bit of a delay. Toby, hey, hey, what's happening? Welcome. Hey, Kamika. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, guys. This uh, That helps me out a lot. Or else that would have been very, very embarrassing. More than it already is. So, uh, what I was saying was I'm uh, going to be adding a hand on the side. Um, going to be cleaning up all these shapes, all the rendering. I might even like do the rendering from scratch. Like, uh, take the hat off give it like a base level like I don't know do over and then uh, we can explore sort of really making these things the, these forms feel pretty 3D um, which I reckon will be pretty fun I reckon so let's get stuck into it as always Feel free to ask any questions as I go. I'll be uh, keeping an eye on chat. And let's get started. So let's take a look at these notes that we are. And I'll go back to proper view here. So, okay, look at me, but you got scenes going. Ooh, hey. All right, so what notes have we got here? So make cap more consistent, yep. Length and peak, makes sense. Fix this eye, that's pretty vague. What did I mean by that? I think uh, dipping this in a little bit more, probably. Um, clean up neck shape, yep. Choose a better shirt, definitely, and make more stylized the ear. Cool. We can do that. So let's do that. Let's turn off all the, I remember we did all the test sort of um rim lights and bits and pieces so i might actually duplicate this guy um, i'll keep the eye highlights in there that shouldn't do too much harm copy this into a new layer oh into uh, its own its own layer we will collapse it all down and now we're just working on the one layer. So it's going to be a, oh no, let's cut the specular highlights off. Okay, that's better. So now we're working on the one layer, which means if we need to do surgery, we need to sort of cut things out and that kind of stuff. It makes it a lot easier. Um, and yeah, and then I've got a circle here. What's the circle here for? So that's probably sort of getting more consistent with that. Uh, Eyelid, I uh, know, uh, eye socket shape. Let's call it so. All right, <clears throat> let's take a moment before my instincts kick in and I just want to get stuck into it and start scribbling away. Um, I'm trying to work on being more mindful with what I'm doing. I mentioned it last stream, but this is going to be try, try to be a no noodle, no noodle zone. Snowfix, welcome. Good to see you again. Uh, what kind of canvas canvas size do you use for this? So I believe this is. Uh, let's have a look at canvas size. Two one six zero by two seven zero zero. So this is just like an Instagram um, portrait size, not super super high res, but it's enough for what I'm going to be using it for. Because this is a, I showed on the. Uh, the the last stream that's going to be used on the website <clears throat> snowfix i'm going to be uh i just mentioned this but really quickly going to be finishing this uh self-portrait up hopefully we'll see how we go um gonna have some fun figuring out some of these forms because i've actually got a reel an instagram reel dropping tonight where i talk about um uh the 
what you call it, uh, like understanding the forms better, like uh, having wireframes, like understanding these these divots and that kind of stuff, and understanding how that can affect the rendering and where a lot of these ambiguous sections are like here for example in the eye or even in the nose a little bit and particularly here when stuff starts to not feel quite right for me at least in the rendering stage it means that i don't have a very good understanding of the forms one and two the light source so uh we're going to try and remedy that today um do i get rid of the hat altogether Maybe I cut the hat off. So then I can think more clearly. This could be a huge mistake. All right, let's keep it in the same position, but hide it. All right, so let's make me bald. Just to understand, I just want to understand a little bit more about these eyelids, uh, the eye sockets, sorry. The forms of them, why I've made certain sort of decisions, what makes sense, what doesn't. So where would my head be? Let's say, let's up the flow, the opacity. This is going to take a little bit to uh so i'm recording the whole screen i'm recording two screens i've got dual monitors and uh i'm streaming and i haven't got the world's most um powerful computer so we're going to have some chug which could be a feature not a bug because it could help me actually slow down and think about what's going on. So silver linings, hey? Uh, Xavier Robles, uh, now do logo on hat. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the last things I do, I reckon, to be honest. It's the probably the least important. So, It'll, uh, it'll be left to last. Devon, welcome Devon. Uh, what drawing tablet do you use? So at the moment I'm using, so this was a gift given to me. This isn't a sponsor sort of thing. Um, an XP Pen 15 Pro, I believe, or 15 point something Pro. And yeah, it does a job. All right, so this is gonna give me a better idea of the, and this is just for my, I don't need to do this, but this is just for me. Like I wanna both practice and get a good result. So this is what I would, my stylized head would look like bald. So yeah, can you later do a reel in the future about interlocking forms uh, in the body, which Bridgman says? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I haven't studied too much of Brid Bridgman's stuff um, personally, but yeah, definitely. I think that there's a lot to do with it, particularly like uh, the one in the reel that I'm gonna be posting tonight. You've got the deltoid, you've got the bicep and the tricep, and then you've got the sort of uh, lower arm. That can be nicely interlocked like simplified and interlocked. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely. Thanks, I'm looking to get one for my girlfriend for uh, Christmas. You're an amazing artist. Appreciate you, Devin. That means a lot. Um, is your girlfriend like super into, is she just getting started? Or uh, is she uh, sort of more, she has some experience? Cause that could also um, influence your purchasing decisions so that it doesn't have to break the bank 
although I'm not too precious about hardware personally like I mean I would love I would absolutely love a Wacom like 27 inch big screen sort of thing um, could be something for me to uh, to invest in potentially but for now I'm fine with just a normal tablet <coughs> Baldy Ben, yeah, that's right. All right, so what I'm thinking about is where is the light source? So we've got a plane here. We've got the plane of the nose up here. So that plane is going to be similar on the head. All right, if this is... She's a graphic designer, but also a great artist and a drawing tablet is very, very old. So I want to get her something new, something under 500. Okay, cool. I think even Wacom has has like a, a cheaper option potentially, but yeah, your XP pens, yeah. The, I've only had experience with say Wacom and this XP pen. So um, it's it's lasted me a good while and is working working fine so far. All right, so what am I looking for here? I'm looking to understand this light source because I didn't, I was kind of maybe going too close to the reference and just blindly sort of not copying it, but just sort of going along with it a little bit too much potentially. So what we can do is you we can get a get familiar with the light source like this, and then we can make all the shadow adjustments that we want later on. That's the the beauty of the old digital painting. Let's carve into this a little bit. Mm. This comes out a tad there. So here I'm actually thinking a lot about the planes of the head. Because I could do it cartoony style where I don't really think too much about that, but I want it to be a little bit rendered or more on the rendered side. <coughs> as dark I don't think all right let's zoom out this <laughs> looks so weird as It also looks weird because there's no eyebrows in there yet. So, so if we threw the cap on top, <clears throat> this is actually a bit. See, it can still make sense. We would have to uh, update this plane here potentially.
Yosi, hi, Mr. Ben. Hey, hey. Welcome. Glad to have you on the stream. See, I'm trying to like almost, there's a melding between these shapes here. So there's like a ledge here that can be transitioned into the cheek. I'm just playing with that idea. I'm staying zoomed out. I think that's gonna be a, a plan for this stream, hopefully, uh, is to stay zoomed out more often than not until we get to a place where it benefits us to zoom in. So I'm not going to get all specular highlighty on the head or anything. This is really just for understanding the forms and seeing how I can get on with uh, with yeah, just understanding the forms a little bit more and the lighting. That's what it was. That's what I was going to be mainly using it for as well. So let's say, let's make a little reference point for where the light source is going to be. Like the direction. So we want to keep probably there. Keep that in mind, right?
Abhishek, welcome back. Uh, oh my, I thought you had a great hair, but it still reminds me of younger version of Vin Diesel. I don't, I don't have terrible hair. This is uh, just, just for exploration purposes. So there will definitely be shadow in there, but it's uh, what I'll actually do, I think, is knock back the opacity, knock back the flow, so then I can start being pretty, uh, a little bit more careful with how I render these shapes so the, the blending can be a little bit smoother. Furley, yep. It's all for a purpose though. For the purpose of consistent lighting. The things I do, hey, is gonna be on the internet forever. Lighting for the hat, yeah, both the hat and the and the face. Because with the hat before, um, I didn't have super consistent lighting, I don't think, and I just wanted to uh, sort of give myself a clean slate to to work from, if that makes sense. Hopefully, it will it will all work out by the end of the stream. Because I've still got to do that hand there in the, the left hand side. That's the plan. To do the hand and then maybe something else that I'm thinking about, but we'll see. We will see. Just throw some eyebrows in there. Kain, Kian, Kain, Carvalho, you are good. Thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. All right, yeah, these eyebrows ain't looking too fantastic, but they are just placeholders. Yeah, bugger the eyebrows, I'm not even going to see him. It's going to look weird for a bit. 
Kane. Got you, Kane. Welcome. Okay, what am I trying to achieve here? Why is this camera going so out of focus? Yeah. Uh, do what we said in our notes from the last stream make this ear more stylized <coughs> Let's go back to a simple shape here. Just a disc. Now there's so many different ways we could do the ear. And I've got tiny ears in comparison to my head, so I don't want to make it too big. Harish, your style seems very similar to a sculptor molding clay. Love it. Yeah, look, that's kind of um, how I see it. Uh, hey. Oh, shit. Just knocked the bloody microphone over. Sorry. Um, uh, now, again, I can't pronounce your name and I've forgotten your name, but you are in last stream. Uh, hi, what are you doing? Uh, I am painting my face making me bold but not just for the sake of making me bold i wanted to take the hat off and sort of understand uh the light source and how that affects my my face and my features and how i can sort of sculpt a uh or feel like have be able to like sculpt the light a little bit more i guess you could say Just be clearer with my shapes. Mind me asking what resolution you work in? Uh, Kane, uh, my work always turns out slightly pixelated. So this I believe is 2160 by 2700 pixels. So this is just um, for Instagram basically. Which is what a lot of my work is for. Andre. Cool, all right, I'll try my best to remember that Andre. Welcome back. Now, a little tip I like to use. Um, so where was I? I was with the ear. Uh, you notice that some of this stuff starts to feel a little bit muddy. Like even though the values are feeling okay, um, some of the stuff can begin to feel like just a little bit on the muddy side. So what I like to do in this case is put a new layer on top. We'll grab a soft round. Um, do I want to do color? Oh, maybe I'll do multiply. We'll do a multiply layer. We'll keep the brightness high. All right, 
But what I'm trying to achieve here is a lot of the time when uh, light transitions from the lightest point into shadow, there's quite a bit of saturation between those two, between like the lights and the darks. I think I mentioned this last stream. So what I can do here is just add in just a hint of some of that in some of these transition areas between like the light and the dark, which just gives it a little bit more life. And we can blend this back in after. I'm gonna be doing a lot of, uh, a lot of putting another layer on, merging, painting on top, that, sign, that sort of stuff. But this helps sort of give me a nice foundation. Um, I'm not too concerned because I am, uh, I am going to be throwing the cap on top. Right, so. And I even knocked my head back a little bit, like the cranium a little bit further. So that could be something to take into account when I put the cap on top as well. So. <clears throat> By the way, what tablet do you use? I'm using an XP Pen uh, 15 point something Pro. You'll be able to find it if you Google that. Um, I actually might, uh, I wonder what's the most efficient way to answer some of these questions that are coming through so I don't bore the people by repeating myself that I've already mentioned this to. I might do like a little text, like a little text something over the top eventually still trying to figure this stream stuff out but i'm sure there's a way to do that You can put the most asked questions in the description. Can also do that as well. Good point, so yeah. Very, very good point. No need to overcomplicate it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, like the canvas size and tablet, etc. Yeah, good good idea. So yeah, and fairly. Good idea. Oh, I've got that Discord in the description as well. I sorted that out. It is very bare bones, but um, I'm going to be utilizing it a lot more soon. Still got to figure it all out, but it'll be good fun. get into the weeds with the with the head too much because I'm not actually going to be seeing it <clears throat> but it's just fun rendering I, I, I could just do this for hours and hours well, I will be doing this for hours and hours but just just keep going and going and going so yeah I'm gonna join the discord right away fantastic great to see you in there So my ambiguousness there with the nose that we've got to sort out. I think even maybe these eyelids are a little bit too dark, potentially. Could knock them back just a, just a tad. Yeah, that seems to feel a little bit more natural, I reckon. 
or join the Discord. Yeah, didn't notice the Discord link. Yeah, I should really put it sort of up a bit higher. Um, I'm not super promoting it at the moment because I, I literally just made it before the stream. <laughs> and that's it. So, um, yeah, but I'll be, I'll be promoting it a little bit more. Joined it. I go by Sven10 in Discord and Insta. Oh, nice. Great to have you on board. All right, again, so you can see I'm thinking about the planes. All right, let's go back to this ear. What was I trying to do with the ear? Now, there's so many ways you could like stylize an ear, right? You can, uh, sometimes I like to do this little like zigzag. Sort of thing, and then make that feel 3D by understanding the planes of that zigzag. Right? To make it look like it's, even with those like just few strokes, it kind of looks like a 3D thing. You know what I mean? So here's the shadow, here's a ledge here, here's a ledge here. Can do that. We can also do the little triangle thing that pokes out. I'll just leave it at that for now. I don't, I don't particularly like it a, a suit like a lot a lot but it's it'll be fine just to keep that as is for the moment I'm more concerned about these forms so how it actually how does this cheek mold into the ear Right, this is weird. This <laughs> is bloody big bald head. Um, let's group these down. All right, you notice that there's like a little bit, so this ledge that I'm creating here, there's that smooth gradation. to make it feel a little bit more realistic. done it I think that's a, a little aha moment this connection between here which matches this this side of the face I reckon this has solved some ambiguity for me because if you think that the light source if it, this is like a similar angle like the nose this is going to be a similar angle to the nose as well. Now I'm not I'm not thinking about like specular highlights or anything like that. I'm just thinking about the base level sort of diffuse. Um, I don't know why I did that in quotations. It is just like diffuse lighting. Uh, Kane, how do you manage to keep your eyes fresh for noticing changes? and mistakes on the artwork. Um, flipping back and forth helps. So go on, flip, flip, flip. Uh, also, sometimes I would like flip it upside down, right? And see if things are making logical sense. Say like with the light source at the moment, if I can imagine this is like an abstract shape, right? And the light source is coming from the bottom. Does this all make sense? Is this all sort of, fulfilling the logical order of how light would work. Right, and maybe these eyelids might actually catch a little bit more light if I do it that way. All right, so there's that. Taking breaks. 
like not going for four or five hours at a time like giving yourself room to uh just breathe and come back to it later um also throwing the image on your phone uh, and looking at it at a smaller scale can also help give you a, a bit of a different perspective i like to do that before i post things personally um, it's a good way to kind of really give yourself a different perspective which i think could be useful Harish, can you talk us through how you go about studying a topic or idea? I certainly can. Um, it's a bit of a broad topic, but let's, uh, let's take anatomy, for example. First, of all, first off, I want to understand what, what's my goal here right, with anatomy, because it's such a big topic you can get lost in it for for many a year but what i want to sort of understand is okay what's my goal what do i want to get out of understanding anatomy do i want to have better understanding of anatomy to make my characters look better okay cool so that gives me a, that narrows the scope of what i can potentially waste my time on not doing that if that makes sense so it's like all right let's narrow down my goals and then I'll start searching, whether it be through like paying for courses or YouTube or buying some books on the topic, just sort of getting a bunch of resources around the thing that I'm trying to learn. And I'm a big fan of studying from different uh different meth like uh, different people different methods that kind of stuff because the way one person says something is going to be uh different to the next and that the way that the other person says something could be the thing that finally clicks for you if that makes sense or you read something that's a little bit different which has been very true for me um with understanding some of this and still like with the art the art stuff and, and drawing and all that all that fun stuff so I do that and then I say, okay, if I really want to do this and I can see the value of actually putting time into it, let's create a habit, all right? Let's, uh, let's start with 10 minutes a day. If I can handle more, awesome. But at the very beginning, start with that 10 minutes a day and get into the habit, all right? And the habit is, is the goal, the number one goal. If you want to fold this into your studies, I guess. I'd also look at other artists, say if we're doing like talking about um, art in particular, get a bunch of reference and, and inspiration from other artists. Go on Instagram, Pinterest, all that good stuff and get things of where it, it gives you a good gauge of what success looks like is another thing. Like if I can start to get my forms or my lines looking like Glenn King, for example, from Disney, then it's like, okay, cool, I'm going in the, in the right direction. And that's going to be very... Uh, very subjective depending on who's who's studying what or what you're studying or what speaks to you so yeah that's how i would uh i'd tackle starting a topic and that's how i'd tackle really any topic whether it's sort of teaching myself code um which i've done and which i still uh, I'm, I'm a developer like a web developer as well i taught myself that like going to the gym um uh, any skill marketing business like it's all just structuring your time and actually do, putting the work in but but not just doing it mindlessly like really thinking about i think the goal in the beginning is a, is a pretty good good place to start because some of these topics can get pretty broad like what do you start with is it is it like for anatomy for example is it gesture is it figure drawing is it quick sketch like that sort of stuff so it really it really comes down to your end goals it might be a combination of all of those be i hope that makes sense um i could keep talking on this stuff for forever because i love it just figuring stuff out learning new things
See how these shapes are kind of becoming more cohesive? Right, I reckon I'll do a bit of work on the neck before I start wrapping, wrapping some of the face up just so, because we ended up doing some work on the neck last stream. I want to kind of finalize that and just get some real good shapes. <clears throat> Harish, absolutely makes sense. Thank you for the insight. My pleasure. My pleasure. And above it all, have fun with it. That's the, that's the fastest way to build the habit if you actually look forward to doing the thing. And you can get get enjoyment from it, then it's like pfft. it's not a struggle. Kane, thank you, thanks for answering the questions. Very helpful. Awesome. My absolute pleasure. Now I'm I'm new to articulating these thoughts as well. So bear with me with that because usually I'm just drawing by myself, not talking to anyone. So I'm, I'm learning this as well. I'm learning this new skill of streaming and uh, drawing and talking. So yeah, and I'm having fun with it, which is, which is number one. I think I'll put the hmm. I think I'll put the uh, I'll make the neck pretty smooth just straight up skin and then I can put the the facial hair and stuff around the neck a little bit after so it can look a little bit cleaner I guess you could say See, I'll bounce around a little bit as well. So I was just working on the neck, and then I noticed something in the eye, or the eye socket, and then I want to go and change that and tweak that. Let's just give me some sort of hairline. Just for the sake of it. There you go, I've got <laughs> something there. <laughs> AZN OPS girl 96. Love the sharpness of the planes. Hope I'm using the correct terminology. 100% you are. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to do this style. I tend to blend too much. 
I don't think there's a. I th I wonder without seeing your work, I I used to have the the same struggle. I wonder if it's not blending too much, but um, not blending or not having balance between how much you blend and how much you don't, if that makes sense. Because I mean, there's, I don't think there's something where it's like, oh, this is blended too much. You can have something where edges, like the edges of things are, are looking a little bit fuzzy where they might not actually be fuzzy, which then makes the forms not read correctly, if, if, if that makes sense. Uh, I'm just waffling at the moment, but yeah. Abhishek, when do you think a painting is complete? Like, how do you know that nothing else is left to work on? From my perspective, your painting already looks so good and can't really tell where, where else to work on. Well, you will be seeing uh, in this stream where we'll be working on it. Um, I think it comes with practice. Like may, maybe like a few years ago, I would have been like, yep, this is cool, this is done. But as you start pushing yourself and, and giving yourself breaks, between when you think you finish versus when you're actually finished having a look at other artists work as well like the level of finish that you might want to get to um, you can sort of start to quickly see that okay maybe this isn't as finished maybe i need to clean up the lines a little bit here maybe this the shadows are a little bit ambiguous the forms might be a little bit ambiguous like all, all that sort of stuff that just comes with practice and and the style that you're after as well and oftentimes it's like well because really the social media stuff has, has quickly become more or less my full-time my full-time gig. I've got to get posts out. So I can't be slaving over a, an image for, for six months and then posting it. There's that, there's that sort of self-imposed uh, sort of time frame that I put on myself as well. But there's also that saying like, art is never finished. It's only abandoned. There's some truth to that. At least for myself. Stay zoomed out. This wouldn't be as dark there, maybe. Kane, do you think there should uh, be originality in any artwork if yes uh have you ever struggled with it what do you mean by that um that'll be interesting if i can get some clarification on what you mean by any original any originality um <clears throat> uh, should be originality in is it, uh, it does make sense. ASEAN OPS Girl 96. I'm still relatively new to portrait drawings. Portrait, I drawing straight from reference. Still trying to grasp uh, the Riley method. Cool. Yeah, the Riley method is a fantastic one. I would uh, encourage, at least this worked for me. This is all coming from my experience. Trying out different methods and not trying to stick to just one. It uh, opened my eyes a lot and helped me actually uh, progress a little bit faster by, for example, trying different methods out. So you've got the Riley method, you've got the Loomis method, you've got uh, Steve Houston's um, method, you've also got, 
uh, what's his name, Michael Hampton's method uh, from Figure Drawing, Design and Invention. Fantastic book, but one of my, my favorite uh, figure drawing books. So yeah, I wouldn't say that you have to like, uh, I, I'm not saying that you're saying this, but at least for me, I felt like I had to master one first. Um, whereas different techniques or different pieces of reference and different head shapes can actually call for different uh, methods, I guess you could say. And then you can create your own method. There's like a mixture of, or a hybrid between all these, all these ones. And then you can pick and choose when and when and where you use certain certain techniques and stuff. But yeah, that's just something that I've I've found personally is don't be afraid to explore other methods because it will be very very beneficial. When I start doing proper like YouTube videos, like recorded ones and edited ones and that sort of stuff, that's a topic I'm, I'm going to talk on. We were to put the hat back on. Okay, that face and the neck is the neck still feeling a little bit fuzzy, uh, but that's all right. We can um, fix that up. Now, what I to give you a preview of what I'm thinking about doing is now we've got this consistent light source. Let's. Uh, Let's then put the hat in front of that light source and where would that sort of shadow intersect? I might cheat it a little bit as well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Right, it feels a little bit more like this would be quite a quite a bit darker up in here, up in here. All right, so these the shadow is feeling a little bit more natural to me. And not, and it fits within this sort of stylized. But there's a lot of cleanup to do. But it's feeling a little bit better um, than where it was at. Was that probably? Yeah, something like that. And it gives a bit of interest as well, so it's not just like a... I like throwing shadows over things. It looks kind of cool. But yeah, we'll... Uh, we can figure that out. Soon. <clears throat> Back to being bold. Well... See, so this has really got, got a lot to do with um, like inventing these shapes. Um, so let's multiply. Cool.
Uh, Kane, originality in the sense uh, what comes from you as an artist and not relying on reference and other resources, if that makes sense. In my opinion, there is no such thing as pure originality. Everything comes from something, right? Or a combination of other things. The way to sort of feel more original, I think, is to get a lot of resources and references from a lot of different people, which then ends up being your own style, if that makes sense, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Because there's a really good book called Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon. He talks about that. And there's a cool little quote in there. Um, saying something along the lines of, uh, if you steal from somewhat like one artist, uh, you, you're like a ripoff. If you steal from multiple, you're a visionary or something like that. Like it's, um, yeah. So that's my thought on quote unquote originality. And don't be afraid to use reference. Like it doesn't, there's no point. I used to think that I had to come up with everything from my head and that just hindered my growth I think so yeah don't be afraid to uh, to use reference uh, Asian OP is girl 96 Thanks for the other method names. I'll definitely look into those. Will there be a time where you might view and critique our work? Yeah, I'm thinking about that in the future. Um, that's sort of part of the reason why I uh, created the Discord. Um, yeah, no, no solid plans yet, but it's definitely uh, I think that'll some is something that'll be fun to do. Um, we'll do it with some YouTube videos if. If uh, whoever's sending their their work in is comfortable for uh, for that sort of stuff, so yeah, I think I think that'll be fun. All right, see, I'm starting to carve in some of these these neck muscles. I think this is like the sternocleoid yo something something muscle. I can't think of the name off the top of my head right now. Uh, we've got to even think about this shirt as like a a plane. And it's getting hit by the light. <clears throat> Thun Guns Pro, welcome back, my friend. You bold now? I am. No, I'm not. I'm uh, doing it to better understand the light source. I've sort of removed sterno clido clido mastoid. That's the one. Yeah, that's, uh, that is the one. But yeah, I wanted to sort of just remove the hat for a little bit. And I just threw a hairline on there for no particular reason. Just for the, uh, for the funsies. But welcome back. <laughs> Abhishek, can you pronounce my mum's name? She has this special request, uh, and if you successfully pronounce her name, she will literally send you some homemade mango pickles. <laughs> and her name is Chuni. Did I get it right? Crabical mastoid, mastoid process of the skull. Look at you, Thun Guns Pro. We've got a uh, a student of anatomy here. I love it. I just know that they're triangles that go like this. Harish, it's interesting you were a dev. Uh, still am. 
Most devs I know are far cry from anything art related. We can get all philosophical with that sort of stuff. I, I get very similar feelings when I'm doing dev work to what I'm doing right now, like creative wise. You can like get in flow. It can be very creative. You start off with this quote unquote sketch. Um, yeah, all sorts, all sorts of fun stuff. Why is this not? Okay. <clears throat> I suggest not studying anatomy until you fully master manichization. Uh, I tend to agree. And even before manichization, man <laughs> even before manichization, manichization, uh, just being able to paint simple forms or draw simple forms in three dimensions uh, is gonna help you out a lot, in my opinion. Kane, Dan, that's a really good point. Thanks. Can you tell us about your art journey? What would you like to know? Um, I mentioned this in the last stream, so I don't want to be repeating myself too much, but I guess it's going to happen anyway. So what are you going to do? Uh, I've been drawing it on, on and off for most of my life. Um, I just really, I, I just really enjoyed figuring out how to get better. No real aspirations of sort of turning it into a career per se. I just like the challenge of getting better. And uh, yeah, there was months and months and even years where I didn't draw much. But it's kind of always stayed somewhat consistent, but not not super, super consistent, if that makes sense. And um, yeah, then about a year and a half ago, I decided, all right, I want to get a little bit better. I want to get into characters and uh steering away from reference and I want to understand more about light. And then I used the Feynman technique of if I can explain things or try and explain things, that's going to help me get better faster because it opens up a lot of gaps in my knowledge really quickly. So now I started sharing stuff online with the hopes of maybe if I've It'd be cool if I built a following, but I was gonna do it regardless, just as like a habit thing. And yeah, fast forward a year and a half, but here we are. Sort of created a, a new career path, which is kind of cool. But yeah, in between that, doing uh, dev work, starting my own uh, startup company um, in software, still working on that and uh, yeah just learning a bunch of stuff along the way and just in learning just really loving the process of learning stuff and figuring things out and now as of recently sharing my thoughts on on how I learn stuff Zibby, welcome. Just looked up just looked up mannequinization. Honestly, did not even know that was a term for it. I thought it was just blocking slash shape drawing. Yeah, I think there's um, different people will have different names for it. But yeah, no, that was a good point. Uh, thumb guns.
All right, let's add in a bit of that color variation that I talked about before. Yeah, I reckon after this, uh, this self-portrait, I'm gonna start scheduling in maybe near the end of the year or um, in the new year. Maybe some like challenge sort of things, like for the stream to keep them a little bit more interesting, a little bit more sort of upbeat. Might even do like uh, specific uh, kinds of streams, like maybe an, an anatomy stream like where we just study anatomy for like three hours or like a character or a style stream and we just sort of keep consistent with that, see sort of what cadence um, we can keep where, it, where it's interesting. And so we're all sort of learning stuff where I'm learning things at the same time. And yeah, just uh, keeping it fun, keeping it interesting. <clears throat> Zibby. I'm the same person. <laughs> uh, good stuff, Zibby. Appreciate ya. Uh, when doing uh, Insta portrait, do you start with the circle crop or the subject? Mine's currently a five second pen drawing. Uh, thumb guns. Uh, what, what do you mean, like a like a, a circle crop or the subject? Can you ex can you expand on that a little bit? I don't, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Um, I think I might know what you mean, but yeah, it would be good to get a little bit more context, if you don't mind. Kane, well, very interesting. Hope you're doing well now, managing things. Yeah, yeah, things are things can uh, pr are pretty hectic, but I'm trying to uh, keep on top on on top of it all and uh, figuring out how to make it all work. So yeah, now very, very grateful for uh, for the journey that I'm on and for the what the future what the future holds. It's it's gonna be very interesting. And I'll take you all along all along for the ride. Um so we've got, so we've got a little bit of colour variation in there. Yeah, see how the neck's coming together. So that was very muddy. Still muddy, but it's it's got more structure. Oh, why have I'm here? Camera, focus on me, please. Not the background. Sorry, I'm recording this just like for social media stuff, so. Very frustrating that this isn't. What is going on? Oh, there we go. Oh, thank you. And we're back. Like uh, your Insta profile pic is currently a head bust uh, within a circle. No, nah, no. Nah, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. No, nah, I don't. I don't do that I don't start with the circle crop I just start with the um, the subject and then I'll fit it into the the profile because this is going to be used both on the website and probably a, a few other places so it's not the only thing that's going to be within the, the circle profile Let's, uh, what have we got? Let's see this now, get rid of that. Let's merge all these down, duplicate it, and keep rolling. Uh, so, can we, oh, thanks. Yeah, no worries, Thun Guns. Uh, Zibi, can we ask uh, more about the startup that you're currently in progress with? What is it about slash what is the idea for it? So it's actually called uh, Keep On. So you can see it on the app store, the Apple App Store. It's a business uh, business management app 
for a uh, small sort of personal like uh, small to like service based businesses think like tattoo artists personal trainers um, sort of solo professionals and it manages all the bookings payments clients finance all that sort of stuff um, so I've actually got a, a few things on the on the roadmap for that one um, and yeah, we actually, uh, Francis, the guy that I'm on, that, that's on the Make Me I Think Later podcast, like the new podcast I've started, um, he's uh, my business partner. Like he's a great friend, but he's also the business partner in that one as well. Like he's the technical lead um, for that. So yeah, got a got a few few plates spinning. We got a we got a bunch of other ideas for different different tech products because I still want to do that. I want to sort of still build. Uh, build build things so it's, it's actually keep k-e-e-p-o-n if you uh if you want to go check it out or you have a small business and you need uh something to actually manage all your payments bookings and and finances and all that good stuff um i wasn't expecting to mention that here but yeah look plug a, plug it why not plug away Uh, Abhishek Kumar, thank you, Ben. My mom, dad, sister, brother, everyone enjoyed and laughed like hell. <laughs> and yes, you pr pronounced it correct. Fantastic. Uh, just trying to bring some fun in to your YouTube live. Appreciate appreciate you, Abhishek and family. Good to uh, good to see that you you're stopping by. Appreciate you all. I can ask serious questions too. Oh, go on, ask us a serious question. I dare. Let's do the old flip around to judge the logic of what we're making here. Oh, fantastic, Zibby. Appreciate you. You don't have to do that. But yeah, look, if you if you think they can get some use out of it, 100%. That'd be awesome. Uh, Kane, where are you based in? I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. So if you can think of the, uh, the Australian map. So you've got kind of this thing, guys, a very loose Australian map. You've got Tasmania down here. I am right here right in the the bite of Australia down in little old Adelaide not so little anymore really but no it's a cool spot I love it All right, so let's flip it back around. <clears throat> so if we're trying to, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to pick holes in it. I'm trying to see what's working, what's not, what makes logical sense, what doesn't. The next still isn't feeling 100%. <clears throat> Haha, <laughs> I follow Struthless. Uh, you know him, Kane. Um, Struthless, Struthless, Struthless. Uh, 
rings a bell. Aussie bloke. Has he, has he got short hair? And there was a video where he talked about... Um, oh, I can't... I, yeah, I, I think I know who you're talking about. Oldish, covered in tattoos. That's the one. Yep. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. This is giving me... Uh, this is the same one last stream where I was saying it was giving me... I don't know if you guys can hear the song very well. But it's uh, giving me really... Uh, Really big like The Sims, like loading screen or shops, like when you're building. And it finished right at the same bloody time last time. So you, you don't know what I'm talking about, but oh, gave me this, like a little nostalgia hit there. Used to play The Sims so, so much. He launched a book. Your head is a houseboat. Something, yeah, cool. No, I haven't. I didn't see that he. Uh, see that he launched a book. All right, now we're starting to get some logic with the neck. Okay, you see how there's gradient coming down? Because if there's a light source coming from here, and it's kind of a soft-ish light source, it's not super hard. I mean. Realistically, the nose is showing that it's pretty, pretty hard. So I should should actually maybe firm this shadow up a little bit more. Excuse me, but it's starting to slowly, slowly come together. This is where it gets exciting because it's like, okay, cool. I can see see stuff starting to. Uh, Starting to click. Even this song gives me The Sims vibes, a little bit. But like the original Sims. Or for some reason as well, Grand Theft Auto 3, or Vice City when you go into the the shopping mall for whatever reason that just jumped into my head so there there you go bloody good times playing that
Wait, wa, wahoo, wa, yeah, wahoo. Ben, will you make scheduled live stream? Yes, I will. I've, uh, this is all about me just getting into the habit of live streaming and sort of the whole YouTube game. But I'll definitely be sort of putting out a proper schedule and uh, sort of making sure every like the people are notified instead of just saying five minutes before, hey, I'm live. Um, it's not the smartest thing to do, but this is really just for me to get into the habit of things and not procrastinate because it's uh, something I'm prone to do. So I just wanted to do it consistently. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably in the next week or so, uh, properly schedule them out if you know what I mean. Uh, Zibby, ever have those moments where you flip the canvas and realize it looks funky? All the bloody time. Like it's almost a little bit of anxiety before you flip the canvas. I'm like, oh, I don't want to, it's looking okay now. I don't want to, don't want to flip the canvas. But uh, when you flip the canvas and it looks okay, it is a, a, a nice little relief. <coughs> Definitely. This, but that's the excitement. That's the nerdy excitement <laughs> that I find with, uh, with drawing. I'm like, ooh, am I going to need to spend the next two hours fixing this or not? Let's roll the dice. Let's find out. All right. Let's think about the logic here. So we've got the corner of the eye. Here's the eye socket. And here's that sort of connection point between the temple and kind of the cheek. If we follow that down back around there, does that make sense? It's kind of a rhetorical question. I don't know. This is where I'm just thinking out loud here. Maybe this cheek actually shows a little bit more. And a lot of my issues stem from like this area a lot of the time. And actually doing a bit more like 3D work and like digital sculpting and stuff really helped me understand this kind of second eye or the far eye, I should say. Abhishek, I've heard that Australia takes work and life balance very seriously. Like after 8 to 9 p.m., every shop and hotel and all that will be closed strictly. Is it true? Is it the same for corporate companies? Yeah, look in Adelaide. If you're looking to get something to eat past bloody 10 or 9 p.m., good luck, except for like fast food things. Um... Yeah, it's not a very 24 hour sort of culture here. Melbourne's a little bit different and I believe Sydney's a little bit more different. Uh, but yeah, Adelaide, definitely not. It's, it's better than it used to be, but still not, a, not what I'd imagine, say like your, your America or any other place like that would be like one welcome uh, do you think uh, you'll be doing some live streams of your art process but in procreate instead if not you definitely should yeah I think that's a that's a good idea I'm just set up for Photoshop and the sort of desktop desktop at the moment but it shouldn't be too hard to do some of this stuff on uh, procreate for sure um, I think that's a very good idea because a lot of the stuff I'm saying here and this, a lot of the techniques I'm using for myself even, not just like explaining things, is pretty software agnostic. You know, you can use Procreate, you can use Photoshop, you can use Critter, you could use uh, Clip Studio, you could go traditional, you could do pen and paper, you could do oil paints. Like a, Those are the kinds of techniques that I want to develop are the ones that aren't reliant on any one particular piece of software if you know what I mean so I've, I've also found I don't know if anyone else does live streams because I'm getting you I'm trying to get used to talking while I'm doing something and I don't know if it's why but like I've, I get really like I'm like swallowing a lot of air 
and I get really like, I don't know, like congested. It was freaking weird. Like as soon as I start, as soon as I start talking, I just like on stream or anything like that. It's just, yeah, it's odd. Really, really odd. It's not natural for me at least, but it will get, it'll get better. All learning. Uh, overwhelming. No, 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 not overwhelming. Not overwhelming. It's like actually, I think I'm just like swallowing a lot of air and I get kind of uh, like I want to burp a lot more than usual. Probably a little bit too much information on stream, but it's just like something that's happening a lot. It's just odd. Like if I'm doing Zoom calls or anything, like interviews. Um, yeah, I don't know. If like my cadence like of breathing and talking and drawing is out just because I'm trying to concentrate, who knows? I'm just rambling at the moment. Don't mind me. Now I think these eyes have got a little, feel a little bit more alive. Nervous maybe, maybe, uh, May get better the more you do it. Yeah, I guess I don't feel nervous, but it could be like a subconscious thing potentially. Who knows? I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, it is unnatural to talk to camera instead to a human. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's, all, that's why I like this chat because it feels like people are here. I'm talking to someone. I'm not just... The, the, the most awkward thing is talking to yourself. Because like, I've done workshops for like game, uh, like game companies. Like they've got me into sort of do workshops with their art team. And there was one, like all these workshops have been fantastic. Nothing wrong with the workshops, but there was a whole like four hour session where I don't know if they were nervous to talk or what, but I was just talking to myself with no f very minimal feedback for like four hours. And was that, boy, was that weird. That was, uh, I was just like, am I making any sense with anything I'm saying? I'm getting no feedback, no nothing. But they were fantastic people. Like the second day, it was great because it was more like Q&A and like critiques and that sort of stuff. And then, and then sort of everyone opened up a little bit more and we started to, started to chat and it was fantastic. But that first one, I was like, oh God, do they think I'm an idiot? I don't know. Uh... Kane, keep a bottle of water nearby. You're doing great. Yeah, look, I got coffee. Actually, I don't know if that's helping or hurting. And I've got a big old this guy of water. So I'm all set. I also, I actually can't wait to get cracking with some uh, like blender like sculpting because what I reckon I'd do in the future is even um, like say if I'm having issues with the the side of this eye here right I might actually just sculpt that see if I can sculpt to get an idea of the forms and that and then learn from my own sculpts which I reckon could be could be cool because I reckon sculpting, digital sculpting, is a fantastic tool for two D artists, like a, a very underutilized tool. This bloody camera! I tell you what, focus. Ah, now it is what it is. What it is is annoying. <clears throat> uh, 
Abhishek, I still remember my first painting and it was a big apple. Believe me or not, but I knew which color to fill in that canvas and it was red. I think it was my intuition at, and that moment I realized that's a very good red apple. That's some genius stuff right there. 100%. Do the flip. Yeah, this other eye is still freaking stressing me out. Okay, let's think about this logically. What's this eye doing? So the lid's coming down here. This is going to be more circular. Because we're not going to be, it's not going to come to a point because it's kind of cutting off that sort of, you won't see this corner here like a corner, if that makes sense. I'm just talking to myself now, really. Hopefully, this makes sense. Um, Abhishek, do you remember the, your first moment which uh, made you realize that you're going to be a digital artist? Yeah, well, I had, I had this question um, last stream where, uh, where I remember I drew a redback spider, which is a spider in Australia, when I was maybe six or five or six or something like that for school. And I came home, brought it home to mum and dad. And they were, and I was like, I was like super proud of it. I was just like, yeah, that's a redback spider. It's like shit hot. It's like, mm -mm. and then I gave it to mum and dad and they looked at it and they're like, what? Like they looked at each other and they're looking at the painting. Or the, it was just like, like with crayons, I think. It wasn't a painting. And uh, they were like, what, uh, what is this, sweetheart? What, what is this? Uh, what is this drawing? And I was like, what do you it's a redback spider, obviously. And they're like, oh, okay. And I was smart enough to know then. I was like, all right, it's a shitty drawing. And I want to get better at it. I want to I want to prove that I can be better. And that's like kind of my earliest moment of like, all right, I want to actually try and get better at this. And then there was times uh, after that. I remember dad drew a thumb, like he, th he drew his thumb and uh, it was like a, a pretty decent looking, looking thumb. And I was again, probably like five or six or something. And I got so frustrated that I couldn't draw it the same. I got really, really annoyed. And for whatever reason, I just wanted to keep trying and keep, uh, keep figuring it out. But yeah, that's when I uh, when I started to uh, yeah try really hard. <clears throat> when I was going to be a digital artist, you did say I got my first tablet. Poor, oh, maybe when I was in maybe year seven. year six or seven or something like that um it was like a wacom it was like this big it was like a tiny tiny little thing you know hooked it up to photoshop and i was like whoa this is freaking cool and from there i was hooked because then i was like i've got all these colors all these brushes with everything at my fingertips what the hell 
This is cool as shit. Let's keep doing this. And yeah. So that's where I, where I specifically remember. Spe specifically remember. From a digital arts side of things. Where it kind of clicked for me. I was like, yep, this is cool. All right, we're getting nitty gritty now. We are cleaning up shapes. We are sculpting. We are cleaning up our thinking. This ear still, this should blend in and transition. It shouldn't have a hard edge. And this needs to be darker even, I reckon. I reckon these ears remind me of Hercules. Uh, the animated Hercules ears. And I just like the look of them. <clears throat> uh, Kane, how do you manage to work on so many things though? I'm still so confused whether I want to do digital, traditional, 3D, or some experimental stuff. Well, it depends where you're at in your life, right? If you're, if you don't have um, like a bunch of responsibilities, right? If you're on the younger side, try it all. Do it like you don't know if you're gonna, but even if you did have a bunch of responsibilities, do do that anyway. There's, that that's really no. There's really no difference. Try them all because you don't know what you like or what you enjoy because i didn't start sculpt i didn't start uh sculpting 3d sculpting until i picked up blender or i think until blender came out with i think blender whatever the reason the, when they updated their user interface where it was like more user friendly that was only maybe like a couple of years ago i think it might have been during yeah like 2019 to 2020 sort of thing that was the first time I picked it up and I fell in love with it. So I would recommend just testing things out. Have no, uh, no expectations. Just go for it and see if you, see if you like it. Um, and then you can do all, all of them together and do some experimental stuff, you know, <clears throat> Flavorian. Welcome. Uh, nice story. I think spiders are very interesting. Uh, are a very interesting prompt for drawing. Yeah, that could be cool. Like we do some prompts, and then we all sort of join the stream. We all give give a certain prompt to go, and then we can upload it to the Discord or something. That could be fun. Zibby, I recently checked off my childhood goal of drawing my grandma's portrait. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, she was my main inspiration for drawing years ago. That's that's awesome, Zibby. <clears throat> Abhishek. It was one lucky summer day when I got introduced to my new super hot female art teacher. And for the first thing she said in our class was, Who's Abhishek? I've heard a lot about you. This Ab Abhishek, mate. You, you, you got all the jokes going, my friend. Uh, Kane, thanks, man. Needed to hear that. Yeah, no, no stress. <coughs> Abhishek, and I fell in love deeply with the art teacher and art too. All right, does that art teacher know about this? I've got no idea how old you are. Or how old that art teacher is. All right, now I've got to make some decisions with the beard. Do I want it to stay sort of somewhat scruffy like it is now? Or do I want it to be even more stylized where it looks like it's actually 3D sculpted on like an actual shape? That is what I'm going to play around with now. Why not have both? So... I'd imagine. Alright, let's 
just get rid of this Christmas. Songs. Okay. Alright, so I'm doing this on a new layer because it's experimental. I just want to test test some things out. See if uh, something sticks. Zibby, I recently made uh, a calendar where I write down what I want to work on, start on, slash start on, but if I wind uh, on working on something else, at least I actually did something. That's a great, that's a great way to think about it. It's the, the mentor, momentum is the key for a lot of this stuff. Like I guess any skill that I've built is sort of built off of, yeah, momentum. Hello. We've got, we've got Ollie here that you might hear. He's a little Shih Tzu. Now I wonder if we can make this Beard. Yeah, I feel like a shape. So let's say like way, way, way more stylized sort of sort of thing. But it's not even that thick though, that's the thing. Or well, it wasn't in the uh, whatever you call it in the reference. I guess it's just more deliberate shapes that I'm trying to trying to throw down. Uh, Zibby, Ben. Um my friends and I recently did a one hour drawing game where we generate a random prompt and I have one minute to draw it. Example, eight legged banana. That sounds fun. That sounds really fun. Uh, Abhishek, I was in school sixth grade and unfortunately she was married. That broke my heart and made me focus only on art. I wish I could share my artwork here too. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, throw it in the Discord. Um, yeah, trying to build up the, the Discord in the. Uh, in the description it's not super super public at the moment but i'll start promoting a little bit more and hopefully get more of you guys in and we'll all sort of share what we're working on uh zibby maybe you could, maybe you could do something like that for fun yeah i reckon that that'll be good fun if we plan that and and everyone sort of throws it in the in the discord as we go that, that'll be that'll be pretty cool i reckon just have, yeah having fun with this stuff like it doesn't have to be all serious and like always Got to get better, get better, get better. I like that stuff. I like sort of always working towards a goal, but we can uh, we can have fun with it too. Yeah, 
it's looking a little bit too thick this beard maybe it, let's figure out ways that we can graphically make it look thinner Maybe in the color. Elliot, welcome, my friend. Hello, just uh, finished work for the day, and this stream is a nice surprise. Great to have you, Elliot. Good to see you again. Yeah, I've got to figure out the time zone things. Because I'm in Australia, and it's like the opposite of bloody everyone else. Well, a lot of people. Kane, watching this stream while working. Fantastic. What are you working on, Kane? Give me too much of a blade. <laughs> it's too bushy. Uh, all right. That's okay. We tried it out. See if we can make it less bushy, maybe. Zibby, it is midnight for me, but I'm usually still up late anyways. Drawing at night uh, initiated uh, the creative motivation. Yeah, look, I'm a, I think I'm more of a natural night owl, but I can't do that much anymore because it's, I need a uh, decent sleeping pattern. Just does not work. Sirk, welcome back, my friend. Uh, early morning here for me, working on an advent calendar for my girlfriend. Nice to see, uh, nice to have a stream on the side. It makes me feel less alone and more like in an office with fellow artists. That's very cool. Maybe we have this thing like it's office hours, where we uh, where we're just all working together, working on our stuff. 
Uh, Kane, I do video editing in the day and art at night. Took a break after Inktober. Nice one. Uh, Zibby, this staying up late will probably come back to bite me soon. I've been trying to sleep at least by 1 a.m. <laughs> uh, it's a constant struggle for me, Zibby. Because inspiration strikes. And you don't want to waste that. But you also don't want to be up until 4 a.m. All the time. So, yeah, I go back and forth with that. Right, sleep is super important. Super, super, super important. Hmm. Let's knock this back a bit. see if we can have some fun with these shapes in here so I've really knocked them in Before I am the forbidden, the forbidden after hours. <laughs> Kane. What sort of video editing are you doing? Are you using uh, like After Effects and that sort of stuff? Let's actually get my reference of me back. After Effects and Premiere Pro, yep. Yeah, and no, I'm a fan of After Effects. I do all my reels pretty much through After Effects. Zerk, I always see your sketch notes on Instagram and love your newsletter, but I was wondering what your actual day job is. Are you a biz dev artist working in the industry? Care to share? Well, actually, the, the social media stuff is, is kind of my day job now. Um, 
yeah, that's a uh, transition to that pretty much full time, and then uh, some like contract gigs on the side, whether it's like workshops or uh, or a few little freelance things here and there. But yeah, it's um, been pretty nuts. Elliot, yeah, I did a like a basics course for Premier Pro, kind of like the challenge, to be honest. I follow a couple of channels here to analyze um, MV video editing. MV video editing, what's what's the MV stand for? Um, Zibby, After Effects is amazing. Premiere, I'm still clunky with, but it does have its pros. Yeah, I'm actually the same. Premiere is, uh, uh, After Effects, I'm very, I'm more comfortable in. Than Premiere. Premiere is great for, um, I guess, collecting or like ordering the edit, if that makes sense. It's a lot faster to do that, like cutting clips and all that sort of stuff. But if you want anything more like uh, dynamic or like animations and that sort of stuff, that kind of thing is just good. Like After Effects is just built for that stuff. At least in my in my experience. <clears throat> uh, Zerk, anyone working with DaVinci Resolve? Oh, oh music videos. Ah, uh, getcha, getcha, getcha. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Uh, Zerk, anyone working with DaVinci Resolve? I've I've played around with it. Um, after I don't know if anyone watched the Corridor. Watches the Corridor channel or the Corridor Crew channel or anything like that. Um, after Ren from the Corridor channel just started to rip Adobe to shreds. <laughs> I think it was like After Effects or whatever, or Premiere or something crashed on him. And he went, he, he got pretty uh, pretty annoyed. So then I, I, I checked out DaVinci Resolve, but just for the speed of the workflow at the moment, Uh, After Effects, just I'm just used to it. <clears throat> DaVinci is way better, I feel, but needs a good system. DaVinci feels a lot nicer to use, like user user interface wise, definitely. Zibby, the amount of tears I've cried when After Effects files sometimes create, oh my goodness. My Command S habit is uh, on point for exactly that reason.
I'm liking this for the stylization side of things. Yeah, let's put some shadows, let's make it consistent with the lighting. Chin's going to be darker. Maybe add some color variation on top. Potentially. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Group it, merge it, and continue. All right, let's throw the hat back on. I think it's time. <coughs> let's clean the hat up, number one. a little bit higher might make more sense a little relief when the file actually saves oh, I know So I do have hair, so now I should really put the hair in.
Kane, uh, yeah, Ben, do you work in traditional too? Uh, not really. I have. Uh, but recently, no. But it's probably something I might might explore. Um, hopping back into just for fun. Let's add some shadow, shall we? It's got a little bit cooler shadow here. So if the light's coming from down there, maybe it sort of hits down. way too intense. <clears throat> so it's kind of following the logic of the nose shadow as well and then we might even add a little bit of heart like a, a harder shadow underneath the neck there to really sort of make it pop might even cheat this a little bit it might not be perfectly like 100% accurate regarding the uh, the shadow placement because I want it to sort of play off the face in a certain way and that's where the artistic license comes in I guess Abhishek, how to choose color for your paintings? How to know exactly which color would work? I'm learning digital art on my own. This uh, world of color haunts me. 
Well, one uh, word of advice for the whole color side of things is that color is relative, right? What I mean by that is that there's no, I, I didn't go into this saying, okay, this color, this particular one right here, um, HSB 3574939 is the skin color, right? What I did is I put down my best guess. And from that, I laid down some more best guesses and then I sort of adjusted and continued to adjust based on the understanding of the light source, um, the understanding of the, the, the shadows and how they the light source would affect the shadows and all that sort of stuff. So there's no like real color picking here. It's more like discovery, if that doesn't sound too wanky, but you know what I mean. Well, I hope you know what I mean. That was a bit presumptuous, but like for example, if you look at any of these colors in isolation, they don't look like quote unquote skin colors. Like this color here, if I, like is that a skin color? It looks like it's purple, right? But it fits in context of the face. This is feeling more solid now, solid, more solid than, than it was. Um, I want to get this finished tonight. That would be great. Might even turn into a sketch note. Probably not, but maybe. That'd be cool actually, like if I'd made my sketch notes on stream. I don't know if that would be interesting to anyone, but maybe to someone. Now the cool thing we can start to look at, right, is reflected light. So if you notice this reference here, you'll see that there's ever so slightly like a lighter portion underneath here. And that's the reflection of the forehead, the light hitting the forehead, then bouncing back up underneath the cap. And then that's filling out some of this shadow as well. So we can take some of that into account. And uh, even just ever so slightly, oh, no, we're on a multi multiply layer, ever so slightly just Knock some of that in. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Apologies for the puppies. See, this is where we can use reference to, to sort of increase our understandings of things, not sort of copy it one for one, but understand what's happening in the reference itself, if you know what I mean. Right, because this is all going to bounce back up underneath the cap. Should really clean up the cap a little bit more before we go any, any further. Let's uh, merge this all down. I will need eyebrows as well. I don't have any eyebrows, so that's a, a note to uh, to add. Let's duplicate that and continue working. <clears throat> Jace three D. I love how it looks uh, that you are carving into clay with your brushes. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun way to work. Uh, Zibby, 
My friend once said uh, to one of my drawings, uh, when pushing a pose, sometimes bone breakage is acceptable. The leg was slightly bent up than normally possible. Yeah, well, look, it's, uh, for me, there's no rules. Like everything's possible. It's all determined by what the effect the, that you want or the, the goals that you're after. There's really no rules to this stuff. Uh, LOA, oh my bad luck, you've come to the end of the stream. Who said this? I'm still I'm still here, I've, I've not said that. So welcome, LOA, great to have you. Harish, how essential do you think problem solving is to art? How do you judge if a piece requires technical thinking or can be done on the fly? For me, I think all of it is problem solving. Like, a, like 99% of it is problem solving. I'm trying to solve the problem of making this look three-dimensional and even smaller. Right, hold on, let me just close the door because the dogs are going nuts outside. Give me two moments. All right, we're back. <clears throat> Uh, I'm, I'm trying to solve the problem here of getting this cap to look three-dimensional. It's a problem that needs to be solved. Now, I'm doing that with the understanding of the light source, the understanding of the color of the cap, the material of the cap, how reflective it is, all that sort of stuff. So everything is problem solving, in, in my opinion. And how I tackle it, it's, it's majority problem solving, right? Which is fun because th that means there's solutions to all these problems. There's a solution out there. It's just a matter of, of figuring it out. Uh, Sam Ben. Hey Ben, Sam Scribble here. So stoked to finally catch a live stream rather than watching the replay. I've said it before, but I absolutely love the way that uh, you're teaching and approaching everything. I love what uh, you've done with that ear too. Appreciate you, Sam. Good to have you. Um, yeah, the, the ears are trying to, trying to stylize it. Stylizing that, uh, that ear up, making it simple. I think I might have to do a bit of surgery on the ear and move him back just a tad now you mention it thank you sam to drawing my attention to this he didn't say it but i noticed it and uh yeah no good to have you man Probably, honestly, probably going to go for another couple of hours. Um, so settle in, my friends. I'm going to finish this guy off. Me. Finish me off. Okay. Ben Van Gogh. <laughs> Let's uh, <laughs> a bit of Prince Harry. <laughs> yeah, thank you ever so kindly. I oh, know that's Charles, that would be an older Charles. 
He's not that posh. Uh, hoping someday to visit Australia and sketch kangaroos. Uh, hopping in the Red Desert. I used to love watching that movie, Kangaroo Jack. That was a funny movie back in the day. Yeah, kangaroos are cool. Went to a place called Kangaroo Island recently. And boy, is that name accurate. They were bloody everywhere. There's some big buggers as well. The, like huge, like red kangaroos just with like massive massive pecs Eloi, three, I have a question for you. When you start drawing black and white, how long does it take? I mean, do you put the details or just the shadows uh, and the light? I don't go all the way with the sort of values or how detailed um, the final will turn out. Um, excuse me, but um, yeah. I, uh, I get it to a point where I understand where the lights and shadows are and that all changes as well like from if I go back to this black and white uh, maybe not that one there that's sort of how far I took it before I started to add color look at look how much has changed even the likeness right so I didn't nail the the line work or the likeness um straight away it took time and now here we are yeah this eyes we've got to do something with this eye we've got to do some surgery maybe move him up and back does that make sense? No, it doesn't look all right. See what I did there, I think made a bit of a, a good, good change because we've got this cheek here. We've got this plane of the cheek. So this one actually 
should follow it similarly on the other side. So I think that actually helped a bit. <clears throat> Swaggy Bear. Welcome. I am following this stylized style like yours, but my friend, my relative, and my client always say it is too weird and I should practice to draw better although my fundamentals is good. What should I do? Well, again, anything that I say is just my opinion. So you do what you do. But um, it's if you're doing it for a client, excuse me, you do what the client says. They're paying you to do a job. It doesn't matter what you want to do personally. That's the That's the deal, right? They, uh, they will pay you for a particular job. What your friends say, pff, I don't, I, I wouldn't, like, doesn't bother me what my friends say, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, like, unless I'm particularly asking for critique, but then I'd only ask for critique of very, cert, like, certain people that I... Um, that I admire or like I would I would benefit from a critique from, a critique from them so friends wise I don't who gives a shit like I, I wouldn't bother worrying about that um, um, and my relative uh, your relative and your client yeah it was well, your relatives and friends it's like you got to do what you want to do right that's all And, and to what your goals are. But if you go into a contract with a client, that, that client can pretty much dictate what style they want. Right, they're paying you to do a job. So your personal preference kind of goes out the window in that respect, unless they're hiring you. Like the goal there, right, is to get them to hire you for your style, if that makes sense. So like, um, they just come to you and say, "Hey, we love what you're doing. Go for it. We want it. We want it. Uh, we want this thing, this character, this whatever, in your style. And that's that's kind of the ideal, right? But that's not always going to be the case. If that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. But again, that's just my opinion." I've got to take into account as well that I'm going to add lighting effects to this, going to add rim lights, specular highlights, all that fun stuff. So if we come here and that cap is sort of going back in space there.
uh, Sampain. I've never seen that one. I'll have to look it up. Always find it so interesting as an Aussie to see how Australia is advertised to people from other countries. Yeah, 100%. Hey, it's fascinating. Uh, ben, if you don't mind sharing, which state are you from? I'm currently in uh, Newcastle, New South, New South Wales. I'm in South Australia, Adelaide. Born and raised. Flip. Yeah, this this eye is doing my head in. I think it's gonna come in just a tad. <clears throat> when do you personally know that a work uh, so Sam when do you personally know that a work is finished do you feel it or is it a checklist process that you work through it's kind of a bit of both um, there's a lot of variables if, it's, if I want it to be done by a certain date if there's a deadline on it um, those kind of dictate a lot of when I finish it right but say for this one example, there's no particular deadline, like there's no external client that's um, needing this. So it's kind of a checklist, like is everything, does everything make sense? Um, like logically, like with the lighting, with the, with the structure, with the anatomy, that kind of stuff. And I almost, I'll sometimes just give it a breather. Like I'll look at it at a different time. Like I won't look at it for the rest of the day. Like after I'm done here, I might just like put it away. And uh, 
put it down and then yeah pick it back up again tomorrow or something to see if I find anything else but yeah no it's kind of a feeling thing um, after all the sort of logical checks are done with it but yeah it's super super variable depending on the uh, the thing I'm working on a little bit painterly for my liking so I might come through and really clean up some of these shapes to this stuff as well even with these little details this part of the cap is going to be closer to the light source right so that should be a little bit brighter then transition down and then kind of taper off Kane, I follow and really like this one Aussie artist called Fintan McGee. Out of the blue, he showed up in my state for an art festival. I had exams, but me and my room roommate rushed to meet him first. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Sam Payne, I get that. I find with personal projects that don't have a client deadline, I can end up noodling on it for weeks. Yeah, that's what I don't want to happen here because that is very, very true and uh, it is super easy to go into noodle mode. See how we're starting to get some dimension with the peak here? Just adding that bit of thickness to the to the peak can really help so I might even make it a little bit thicker. Keep the structure though.
Turn the old face called the hard ram brush. Nothing fancy here. Sam Payne, also my wife, uh, wanted to, me to pass on that we also have a dog named Winnie. She found way too much amusement in that. <laughs> yep, yeah, we got two. So we got Winnie and Ollie. Uh, Zibby, sometimes uh, having a deadline has surprising results though, especially when you have to figure out how to do something new. 100%, I think a deadline's fantastic. It really makes you... Um, like cut out all the unnecessary stuff, which I think is super helpful. Like we might even do some like study days where we, we do some, um, or like some study stream, sorry. Uh, where we, yeah, we don't, we do like 10 minute, 20 minute, 30 minute sort of reference studies to see where we can get. That could be fun. What kind of, uh, what kind of uh, dog is uh, Winnie, Sam?
Okay, let's clean up some of these shapes in here. <clears throat> Zibby, 1am, probably should get to sleep. Uh, have a good day slash night, everyone. Hope to join in on another stream. Great to have you, Zibby. Get to sleep. Because that was your cutoff, 1am. So, hope you have a good sleep. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Thanks for popping in.
go. Sorry, everyone, that was my phone. <coughs> See how the just cleaning up some of those shapes just makes it feel a little bit more 3D, a little bit less painterly, so it's really a stylistic choice.
Yeah, looking more more shapely, that's for sure. I might want to try a version. when my eyes are a little bit more awake. So let me group that, merge that. Let's awaken these eyes. It's gonna be the easiest way to do that. a little bit, nothing too drastic I don't reckon. No water break. Thank you for reminding me. Appreciate you Harish. This is what happens. I'll forget <laughs> to eat because <laughs> I'll just get stuck in uh, making this or just whatever I'm painting. <clears throat> so I do appreciate the uh, the reminder. This feels a little bit better. <clears throat> feels like I'm asleep. But I also don't want it to be like, I'm not staring at you. We'll finesse it. I still want to do that hand tonight as well, buddy hell. All right. I think with that opening of the top lid, just a slight closing of the bottom lid could help make it less weird looking. <coughs> Yeah, that feels a little bit more, yeah, 
<laughs> you go back and forth now, it looks like I've got a lazy eye here. And then we just sort of open them up a little bit. Cool. That was a positive change. I'm happy with that. Still needs to finesse the shapes and whatnot, but success. How bad is your back pain? Yeah, look, I don't have too much touch wood. I don't have too much back pain. I go to the gym four to five times a week. And I do a bit of strength training. So I, I like to think that sort of uh, offsets some of the issues. I'm sure it doesn't. But uh, I guess strengthening the back muscles and whatever is a positive. But yeah, my upper back, right, as you talk about it at the moment, is pretty tight. Okay. Yeah, I'm liking the look of this. This is uh, slowly getting there. Slowly but surely. Now we can start. Um, this neck still needs some uh, finessing. I'm going to figure out what I'm doing with this whole like chest section. And we're just going to have it like a bust that kind of cuts off. I think also the angle of the ear needs to change. Because <clears throat> at the moment, if we're looking at it objectively, it's like a cylinder pointing down that way kind of, right? But my ears don't point down that way too much. I mean, I know it's stylized, but it's not like a characteristic of mine. One kind of, they're just like tiny. So, and they kind of point up more than anything. Let's see if we can fix that.
Where's your meat? Back a bit. Yeah. Are you going to add a subsurface scattering? You bet your sweet behind I'm going to be adding some subsurface scattering. I uh, am very much a fan of doing it behind the ear. I'm just adding the rim light. I'm a fan of rim lights. I'm a fan of subsurface scattering. So yes, we'll definitely be doing some of that. And now this is looking weird. God damn it.
Yeah, I agree. I agree, Kane. Um, it's more more three D. Gives me the the opportunity to show show a bit of depth. Alright, let's do another layer of uh, color variation. So even just that little bit of color variation just brings just a just a couple of levels closer to something that's a, a little bit more appealing i think i think also there would be some shadow <clears throat> on this eye because of the eyelids coming over so there would be some sort of shadow which makes sense <clears throat>
Uh, do I feel the purple under the nose is a bit too saturated? No, because I think I might even play that up a little bit around the shadow parts. There's like a more of style, more of a stylistic kind of thing. Um, like here, I might push this a little bit into the more purples and have some fun with like some of the blues even. So yeah, that was like a, something I was keeping for later, but it does look out of place um, just by itself. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's a good observation. Okay, I think I might actually even...
slowly, slowly, slowly come together. Oh, I wanna, I wanna try something with uh, duplicating the whole thing and then using itself over the top of itself as a mask to, whoa, what have I done, what have I done, what have I done? All right, we're back. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So let's say we duplicate this one, duplicate it again. Now, let's say with the levels, I want to make everything a little bit darker. All right, so let's say Make everything a smidge darker. What we can do with this now is if we have like a nice uh, soft round, we can come through with the mask and make it really sort of apparent on his on the face. Sort of only pick up the parts that we want to sort of have all the light happening if that makes sense all right versus the whole thing all light it gives you a bit of freedom to pick and choose Specular highlight time. Amy, how are you doing? My day is going well. How about yourself? Yossi, Mr. Ben, which app do you prefer to draw? PS, CSP, or Procreate? Um, Clip Studio I haven't had too much experience with, so I can't really comment on that. But I like both, to be honest, Procreate and Photoshop. They both have their own uses. Um... Yeah, not the uh, the most interesting answer, but yeah, it, re it really depends. I like Photoshop because it's on a big screen for me, like a bigger screen than the iPad. That's one definite positive.
Kane, here comes the magic of highlights. Tell me about it. It's where all the decisions I've made, lighting wise, and with the matte finish, where they all start to either work or I start to regret my decisions.
Uh, are you going to finish this on this stream? That's the goal. I think I'll finish the face on this stream. I did want to do a hand um, next to it, like me kind of like waving. Don't think that's going to happen, but I'm going to get probably 80 to 90% of the way there. Um, and then I might just finish it off stream just to, just to wrap it up. We'll see how we go. Let's add some of my favorite things, some rim lights. How long will you stream this time? Well, I've been streaming, Jesus, I've been streaming for four hours. So probably another hour, I reckon. Max, maybe another 45, because I've still got to finish up a, a post for Instagram. And I'm gonna post that.
uh, cane. I like how the cup has turned out. It gives that feeling of a hard object. Yeah, it's getting there. Um, still need to do the, the logo on top. I'm wondering if I do the logo that's like the P. This P means nothing. I don't know. This is like a $10 hat that I picked up at a random store. Um, so yeah, whether I put a, something else on it, I don't know. Random Ferret, welcome. Uh, hey Ben, glad to catch the live again. Glad to have you. Uh, what made you design, stylize the beard that way? I wanted something a little bit less realistic. Um, before it was looking a little bit too painterly for my liking. So like fitting in with the rest of the character. Um, that was it. It was really just an experiment. I think it's too full personally. And maybe I'll end up changing it. But I think it's okay for, for now. normal
Uh, see, one thing I'm, I'm really trying to look for is the uh, lighting consistency. So you can see the, the shadow here is very, very sharp. The shadow here is pretty sharp. The shadow down here was pretty soft. All right, so I don't want it to be super hard, but I want it to be consistent with these, with these shadows. Okay, I reckon this might be a half decent place to sort of leave it for tonight. Lots I want to do with it. Um, Yeah, I wonder, um, with the hand. Maybe we just try and block that in quickly. Something like that, maybe. <clears throat> yeah, okay, from that to that. See how it had like a little bit of realism? Still, it, it was like, I've just like parted ways with the realism even more. I'm pretty happy with sort of how it's, how it started to turn out. All right, so let's do the, uh, the hand so I will <clears throat> I appreciate it Kane let's get some of this uh, ch -ch -ch shape dynamics 
All right, back to sketch mode. Uh, how did I get that artboard at the side on Photoshop? Uh, this one here. Oh, you can see just the, the side of it. Um, I'll go up to Window, Arrange, and then you can go New Window for the same uh, file there. And then you can do that whatever with do whatever you want with that. You can have it off to the side so you can have something that stays the same size and gives you a bit of reference. Um, you can also, what, what I use this for is time lapses. So instead of flipping and zooming in and out and all that sort of stuff, it just stays the same, which is really handy for time lapses in Photoshop. No worries, Kane. Now I'll do my usual little, usual blocky fingers, I guess. Harish, any tips for good line work? Um, depends what kind of line work that you're, that you're trying to achieve, right? I would really think about, at least for me, where I'm trying to go with, with my line work. Um, is to really take your time and, and think about what's in front and what's behind because that's where line work can really get a bit fuzzy when you've got so there's going to be a clear crossover between the fingers here and this finger here and these back fingers right now to make that clear you want to have these things called t intersections which are basically just lines that cross over each other so but if you have like a bunch of lines that are crossing over each other. And it, like ba basically just trying to make things as clear as possible. Um, I guess is a, is something that I'm trying to focus on. It's like, how clear can I make this, uh, this shape that I'm trying to, trying to draw. And a lot of the stuff around like 3D, like thinking in 3D helps as well. So this hand is looking a little bit too realistic for my liking. So I want to start pushing some of the shapes. <coughs> uh, Johan, Johan, Johan. Uh, would you replace the P for a B on the cap? I've just arrived. Welcome. Welcome. Ah, uh, potentially. That's a good idea. 
That's a very good idea. Um, Zimic Perty. Hey Ben, how you doing man? I follow you on IG. I love your shape language. Thank you very much. Welcome. Um, appreciate the support on Instagram. And yeah, we're just sort of, at the moment, I guess, cooling down in a way with uh, some hand, hand drawings. Because I'm going to have this as me kind of waving with my self-portrait. Looking too much on the realism side, I think.
sort of keeping it not sketch the nail and then see how it looks in context Let's duplicate this, turn this one off, collapse that one down. Looks like I should have a bloody cigarette <laughs> in between the fingers. It's not the best hand. Uh, hand gesture, I think I could be a little bit clearer. <clears throat> uh, Kane, does great background help understand lighting better? I like to use a great background to yeah, see the values a little bit better. instead of just like stark white. out later or we'll just leave it leave it at that for now the fingers look funny but that's okay we can fix that later um, and the hands will probably be a bit bigger Potentially, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, it looks a bit, looks a bit odd. But I reckon we'll uh, we'll end it on that, everyone. We'll. Uh, Hang out for another couple of minutes. Oh, big hand, yeah. Would have to uh, get the sizing right on that one, definitely. that the computer doesn't implode. Oh, that was a long session. Well, okay. We'll just save this one. What's the date? 25 of November, 2022. Self threat stream. Okay, so because that stopped, let's uh, let's assess the damage. Let's do two one six zero again. So let's go times two. Uh, Furley, did you take any break in this four hour session? I did not. No, it was just straight the way through. All right. So 
let's see the before and after, shall we? Okay. Um, where were we before? Maybe that one? I think it was that one. Or this one. One of them. Things have morphed and changed a little bit. Shapes have been cleaned up. Some uh, lighting has been fixed. Really, the likeness on this one. That's annoying. I kind of like the likeness <laughs> on this one. Maybe it's the ears too big. Let's do some quick playing about with the surgery. Let's maybe make the ear a tad smaller. Maybe this whole shape is more, I don't know, more my, my likeness. Yeah, me too, actually. I do like the eye better on the left. So this is just all on one layer. So I'll just do some quick edits to it. Sruthi, how you doing? Yeah, Kane, le left ear shape does feel more natural. I think there's a balance between the two. We can find that somewhere. I think there's a, a happy medium. I like the rendering of the right better. Because I've taken more time with it. Maybe it's this shape here. Keep playing with it.
All right, we'll leave it. We'll leave it. I think there's still still work to be done, but it's okay. Overall, not a bad session. Do a cheeky color dodge before we head off. Color dodge and subsurface scattering on the ear. It is what it is. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Uh, fairly leave it for next stream. Yeah, yeah, I reckon I, I should. It's almost buddy, five hours straight. So yeah, figured out some stuff. Still got to fit. See, I can't. I can't stop. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, the neck's looking muddy. Well, we can fix all that. Well, I guess it's cool you guys can see the, the behind the scenes struggles. Of how I like it, I don't like it. This is, It feels good one day, it doesn't feel right the next. Like, it's a... Uh, It's not just straight away. Yep, this is the cool, the cool thing, the thing that looks great to me at least. And that's that. Thanks, Arish. The urge to keep working. I know. <laughs> I can't bloody stop myself. three two two and a half two and three quarters uh, okay yeah I'm just noodling at the moment I'm just noodling now there's no there's no point in this all right <clears throat> Thank you everyone, once again, for popping past. It was great to have you all. Um, had some great chats. Thank you for keeping me company while I'm working, or while I was working. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I hope to see you in the next one. All right, catch you then. <laughs>